So, how do we answer a communication question? A communication question addresses and applicable to all subjects in the exam. All subjects. Your most common wrong notion when you answer a nursing exam, you thought, if that is a communication question, that subject is funda. If not funda, that subject is psych, which is not true. When you take a nursing exam, the most common communicate, most communication questions come from MS. If not MS, PEJA. If not PEJA, OB. And some questions from the subjects of funda and psych. Now, how do you know if that is a communication question when you will take the nursing exam? Avoid unnecessary movements. If the nursing exam is asking for best response, if the nursing exam is asking for which of the following is the best statement of the nurse, or which of the following should the nurse say, whatever is that subject, as long as the exam is asking for response, a statement, or say. From the four choices of the nursing exam, letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, even if you are not going to read the entire situation, just simply focus on the question, response, statement, and say. Always have this in your mind that the response and a statement of a nurse should always be something that is therapeutic. So, from the four choices, you have to simply look at the choice that is therapeutic. What is a therapeutic response? A therapeutic response focuses on the feelings of the patient. A response that addresses the feelings of the patient. A response that shows understanding to the feelings of the patient. A statement that focuses on a feeling is a statement that explores something, something that explores the concern of the patient. Tell me how you feel. What are your concerns at this time? Encourage the patient to verbalize. The purpose of this statement is you want to know the feelings of the patient. You want the patient to ventilate. These are very powerful choices, options, correct answers in the nursing exam. Another choice that focuses on feelings, for instance, is a statement that focuses or addresses the anxiety or fears or another feeling, for instance, is if the patient is upset. Like the statements like this, I see no ants crawling into the wall, but you seem frightened. It becomes therapeutic because it addresses the feelings of the patient. So you see, if there is a statement that focuses on the feelings of the patient, whatever is that subject in the nursing exam, as long as the question is response, statement, or say, even if the question is very difficult, if there is a choice that focuses on the response, statement, and say, not question, and the choice focuses on the feelings, that's the correct answer. That's magic. The problem is, you will notice that when you will take the nursing exam, if the question is response, and the topic, for instance, is MS, they usually intend to give you a question that is not familiar to you. And the level of difficulty is very high. But, relax. The question is response. Sometimes, even if you do not read the situation and question, you just simply read the choices. You can identify from the choices where is the statement that is therapeutic. It uses and it, it should be aligned from these rules, feelings, explore addresses the feelings of the patient. Should be the best answer. But of course, when you will take the nursing exam, even if that choice addresses the feelings, you need to ask first yourself, is that feelings related to the issue? Because there is a possibility that the statement addresses the feelings, but sometimes the issue is not related. Let's say, for instance, 
the issue is like this. Help! Help! My house is burning! My house is burning! Which of the following is the most appropriate response of the nurse to a patient shouting, Help! My house is burning! Letter A. Tell me how you feel. Does that address the situation? No. So you have to make sure that before you make the choice, make sure is this related to that issue. Ask yourself, is this related to the issue? If not, then look for another choice. That it should always be related to that issue. Now, so you need to always follow this rule. You need to always follow this rule. This is enough for you to pass the exam. This is enough. The exam, this next exam, will give you 50 points communication questions. Focuses on what subject? MS Peja Board. We have so many communication questions in MS. Will be better. Some inside and from that. Is that clear? Now, before I'm going to give you the, the drills, we have to go back to the fundamentals of nursing and review the concept of therapeutic communication and non-therapeutic communication. Can you follow? Let's go. So I hope you need to replay this lecture again before you sleep tonight. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, so therapeutic communication questions. Remember, the best response is statement. Say, is the statement that focuses on feelings. The statement that focuses on feelings addresses the concerns, explores the concern, anxiety, fears, etc. Okay? You can take a picture, it's okay. But I'm going to download this later. I will download this into our group later tonight. Okay, you need to copy this one. Fundamentals of nursing. The following are the therapeutic communication tools. These are the therapeutic communication tools. Number one, being silent is therapeutic. What, what is the purpose of being silent? Why do we need to respect the silence? This is allowing the patient to organize thought, to make sure that the patient can have an accurate response. So we need to give and respect the silence of the patient in order for them to better organize their thoughts. Next, offering self is magic when you will take the exam. You listen to me. I'm going to replay this. You can replay this tonight. Offering self. Can you give me a statement that you offer self, whatever is that subject? Offering self is like this. Good morning. I would like to stay with you for a while. That is an example of offering self. Peja, this is one of the most difficult questions in the nursing exam. Peja, the mother of a child tells the nurse that her child does not want to put on her boots. What is the best statement of the nurse to the child? The correct answer then. The nurse tells the child, start to put on your boots and I will help you on the hard part. There's a statement there. I will help you on the hard part. It's very powerful. That statement is offering itself should be the correct answer. Can you follow? This is very powerful. This is magic. Let's continue. Your most common error in the nursing exam is a statement. Make sure that the statement is showing empathy and not sympathy. Empathy is very different with sympathy. What is empathy? The therapeutic is empathy. Empathy means you show understanding you, you need to show to your patient that you understand the feelings, the situation, and the experience of the patient. That is empathy. Example of empathy is like this. I understand how you feel. This must be difficult for you. That is an example of empathy. Except sympathy. What is an example of sympathy? What is an example of sympathy? 
This is too hard for me to talk about to. Sympathy means you are emotionally affected. That is not therapeutic. We need to show understanding but should not be emotionally affected. We should be shoulders to lean on for the patient. Did you get that? The correct response should be empathy and not sympathy. Empathy, you show understanding. Sympathy, you show understanding but you are emotionally affected, which is wrong. Next, focus on the statement. Focus on the questions of the patient. Like, nurse, why is there no incision in cystoscopy? That's the question. So make sure you pick the choice that is related to the statement or issue. Restate, by restate, so that the patient knows that you are listening. Let's say example. My father would always spunk me whenever he is drunk. Restatement. Your father must have been an abusive father. That is an example of restatement. Are you listening? Yes. That is also related to the statement. You validate, you clarify. If you did not understand, it's okay to ask. Are you telling me that uh, you were great? So you validate. You ask questions. Okay, next. Make sure that when we give information, especially if the topic is MS, PEJA, OB, when you give information, make sure the information should be accurate. Is that clear? And this is a common error in, in the nursing exam. Everybody look at me. You listen to me. Look at the board, please. Look at the slide. This is correct. Deal with the year and now. But there is always an exemption of this when you will take the exam. Because they usually give you a situation wherein sometimes this is this concept may become wrong in the exam. Example, always deal with the here and now. Always deal with the here and now to any concerns of the patient. But if the concern of the patient is not urgent and the, the task of the nurse is very important, the nurse is very busy. Let's say for instance the situation is like this. The nurse is very busy preparing for the due medication. Do you know what it means by due meds? While the nurse is preparing the due medication, the patient approached the nurse, telling the nurse, nobody cares for me. What's the best answer there? I care for you. I'll get back to you when I'm done with what I'm doing. So with that statement, you were able to delay the concern of the patient. Can also be a correct answer. So you have to be very careful. There is an exception. There is another situation presented in an exam. The, the situation is like this. Look at me. The novice nurse is on an orientation tour. A patient approached the novice nurse telling her, I want to be discharged now. What is the best response of the novice nurse to the patient? What's the best response? I am a novice nurse and I am on an orientation tour. I'll get back to you once I'm done with what we are doing. Is that related to the issue?